Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. From the title, you would know what the video is all about. Yes, I got my driving license here in Oman and really excited to drive here. It's been more than a year we left Riyadh from where I got my first driving license and here it was easy for me to get license because I had to just convert it. The formalities took hardly 10 days. I always felt driving a bit relaxing and I love to drive. But it was a bit challenging when I was in India, unlike here. Roads are different, rules are different, people follow it or not. The driver's seat is on the other side which actually doesn't matter as it's automatic gear. Anyway, happy to be the new driver in this beautiful country. Now that was taken yesterday after I got the license to share the happy news with you all. Next are the clips taken on different days and kind of food exploration from different restaurants here in Muscat. There are restaurants where we normally go if we like to eat out on weekends or order from on days when I feel lazy to cook. Those are not included here. These are taken from other places where we wanted to try something authentic, somewhere our friends took us and such. The first place where we went was with our family friend, also my husband's colleague, Shreyas and his family. Must say, the way to the destination was mind-blowing. The landscapes were just too beautiful to look on. I was in fact not focusing on my camera lens because I was enjoying with my eyes and not sure if you can see it the same way I see. This vlog was not a planned one. I just took out my camera, randomly started taking videos here and there. Only later realized I can make it a vlog. Hence today's video. This is Fresco El Marina where we are right now. It's more a yacht club where I guess there's private yacht as well as rental. It was a different experience. A relaxing ambience. We ordered few snacks that included calamari or the squid rings and prawns. We sat there for so long, very relaxing and it was really refreshing. We spent almost two hours there I guess. Now this video was in fact taken before the visit to the yacht club. It was taken the next day after I completed the one month challenge being on a wedge diet. Now I didn't find it very hard being on the wedge diet when I'm at home. It was a bit tricky to get good vegetarian food at restaurants where they serve delicious non-veg food. So my food would be chapati and paneer curry mainly because paneer is something I love in the wedge side. My husband told me once that we'll go to Barbecue Nation one day for dinner, soon after I complete the veg diet. He had come to this restaurant with his clients few days back and ever since then he's been telling us how delicious the grilled stuff over here is. So went there for dinner. And it was a weekend as well. They have kebabs, chicken tikka, prawns and such. They not just have the grilled non-veg but also spicy grilled pineapple and mushroom. And there's buffet but I guess all come here not to fill the tummy with the dinner from the buffet. It's to have the grilled which is very delicious. And then comes the dessert which is the most favorite part of any buffet we go. These are the tiny gulab jamuns eaten with vanilla ice cream. This is what my husband loved the most. It's pan flavored kulfi with some sprinkles. This in fact took me back to the trip we went to Delhi and visited Taj Mahal in Agra. This tastes almost like Agra peta. Then comes to another day when we went for dinner to have authentic Omani cuisine. This place was suggested by our brother-in-law whom you might have seen in my previous video, Jawad. 
and in that video i had even asked many of you who were in oman to suggest restaurants where we could have authentic omani dishes one among that was rosna the restaurant itself gave that arab vibe all over This restaurant is quite on the pricey side but worth the try. That's the washroom. We ordered chicken soup. I guess they call it shorba even here. It's not like how we make with a lot of spices, like any other soup. Arab cuisine is in fact really a healthy cuisine. They use olive oil for almost all of their dishes, and the main course is full of grilled stuff. After salad and shorba came the main meal, which is Omani shua. Shua is roasted meat cooked in a special oven, a pit underground. Meat is rubbed with spices and then wrapped in dry banana or palm leaves and cooked in an oven until tender. It might take hours. Shua is a dish that is mainly prepared on special occasions. I guess the name of this is ragag bread. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's very thin bread or crepe made with fermented wheat flour. Make the crepe and spread your favorite filling. We were not sure of the taste initially. Asked to just fill it with honey and it actually tasted really good having it warm. So took one more with Nutella and cheese as a spread. And then finally was the kawa. The kawa here is a bit darker in shade because what I used to have from Riyadh was a bit more of the yellowish color. Later, Jawa took us around the downtown in Masjid. He drove us through the streets for some time and dropped us back. Next day evening, we dropped kids at their karate class and went to a coffee shop that was beachside. I felt we should have gone there a bit more earlier. The ambience is really lovely. Sitting next to the beach, chit-chatting, sipping coffee. Me and my husband, we try not to miss our own time, which I feel many parents don't. We started our journey just being us and then we entered parenthood another phase of life which is challenging yet the blessing from almighty weekdays are busy days parents have work and kids have their classes spending time as a whole family is what we look forward during weekends but it's equally important to spend time with your partner when kids have their share of enjoyment somewhere we make sure kids are at a happy place or doing something productive then me and my husband go for a coffee which is the most relaxing as we share our thoughts with each other how far we have come and the changes in our life and so much more it might sound silly or fancy for many but please make sure if you are parents you are once a couple and it's important to spend your time the same way when you were couples On another day, we picked kids from their karate class and straight went to have kunafa from Kunafa Kingdom. This place was suggested by Shreyas whom you saw in the beginning of this video. 
Recently, when my friend Shaviba had invited us for lunch to her house, we gifted these kunafa, which is freshly prepared upon order. Along with that, we ordered a small pack just to taste, and it was the most delicious kunafa we have ever had. And ever since then, kids had been insisting to have again from there. The best one is a rolled kunafa with cheese filling. Next time I will definitely try the cream filling to see how good that is. I know there are more varieties, different restaurants with reasonable rates to try out here in Oman. Whoever in Oman, please do let us know in the comment section of the places we could try as we are newbies here. Your suggestions will be highly appreciated. So that's all. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If so, do give a thumbs up so that I know. Stay safe everyone. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.